about my son? Marry you because of your background. You come from a background and family of warriors. And a woman as you is needed in the royal home. Thank you for your kind words, Sonyeze. I married your son because I love him so much. And we've grown together to be one. So I would do anything for him. I need you to understand that having been married into royalty, enemies of the king would do everything to destroy royalty through you. Yes, I'm aware. And I promised myself never to bring shame to the royal home. Thank you for that. Marriage is an agreement between a man and a woman. And in that agreement, they must walk towards it for you to see the light of day. I am committed to this relationship, when you say. I prayed all my life to be part of royalty through marriage, and it happened. So I will protect this marriage with my life. Good to hear that. I need you to understand something. The woman has a lot of roles to play in managing the home front. The woman who wishes to remain in marriage must be able to tolerate a lot of things. When you say, is there anything you're trying to tell me? Any time any issue arises between you and my son, I want you to treat it as a woman. You are looking more beautiful these days. Thank you. <laughs> I and have you know to. I like the way you smile. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Mm. I can't believe you're finally getting married. And why did you say that? After everything Neka did to separate us. Well, she's a loser. And she will continue to lose. Isi. <laughs> but Obim, mm. that maiden went so far. How do you mean? She went as far as poisoning your father's mind not to let you get married to me. My father? Why would she do a thing like that? Not because she wants you for herself. She wants you to marry her. And her greatest weapon was using the fact that you and her are from the same community and I'm from another. <laughs> that means she's not aware that our community and your community intermarry. She is fully aware. But she will <laughs> stop at nothing to destroy what we share. And I'm glad she lost that. <laughs> hmm. I wouldn't say that if I were you. Because the Ineka we both know would do anything, just about anything, to get what she wants. And the Ineka we both know is a loser. Now, Obi, can we stop talking about losers and talk about something more beautiful? Like of, our love? Of course. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here, right? So tell me, when can I come and see your people? Okay. Anytime you want. Mm, anytime. Okay, let's see. How about... Mm, okay. In the next three K market days, I will come with my people. Oh, my... <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Okay, but you say you're really serious. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, oh Kim, I love you. I love you. Thank you. Okay, that is going to be the happiest day of my life. Yes. Same with me. Right. Don't worry. It's definitely going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> 
You did not just say that. Eh? Of course I did. Nana, you're the only person that can help me. You're my last one. <laughs> and I am very sorry to disappoint you. I will not do it. Are you sure about that? I'm very sure. I am very, very sure. See, Neka, if there's anything else I can do for you, I will gladly do it. And you know. That means I'll have to go ahead to tell Mazin Aman that you have a hand in his daughter's death. Yes. How did you know about that, Neka? Forget how I got to know about it. Just set hand to propose in my favor. And we all have nothing to worry about. Neka, what you are telling me is that you are prepared to blackmail me if I don't help you. Neka, is that what you are saying? You may name it anything you want. I'm already set to do what I want if you fail to do so. You know me very well, I'm in Neka. <laughs> I never go back whenever I'm ready to do something. Okay, see you later, okay? Neka, come on now, let's still... This Neka! She will never ever change. Greetings, Papa. How are you, my daughter? I'm fine, Papa. Papa, how are you too? I'm fine. Aha, uh -huh. your mother said you should come to the market and help her. Hmm? Oh, okay, I will go, Papa. But before I do that, there's something I want to discuss with you. <laughs> You're always free to talk to me. Yeah, what is it? Papa. I prefer to ask me to marry him. Oh, that is good news. <laughs> Very good news. Listen, I've been expecting him to say this all this while. Yeah? Ah, I'm happy he finally came up with his intentions. Yes, Papa. That's he, good. He said he wants to come and see you. He wants to come and see me or come and see us. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yes, Papa. Oh, okay. So, uh, when do they intend to come? He said in the next three AK market day. Three AK market days. Yes, okay. Papa. In that case, I'll have to inform your uncles. Hmm? Thank you, Papa. Yes, so that we'll be ready. I have to inform them, so we'll wait for them. Yeah? So you when so you much. see him, tell him we are waiting for him. Yeah? Thank you, Papa. So we're waiting for them, the entire village. Let them come. Papa, thank yeah, you. Here, yeah? Thank you, Papa. That is good news. Mm. Okay, so um, hey. that is very nice and brave of you, my son. Thank you. You Papa. know? I have been expecting you to come up with the idea of making Ujunwa your wife. And I am happy you finally did. Papa. Papa was only waiting for the right time. Oh. Uh -huh. yes, this Papa. is the right time. Yes, Papa, it is. <laughs> um, so, when are we going to see her people? Uh, Papa, I told her in three Eke Market days, Papa. Three Eke Market days? Yes, Papa. If you ask me, Three Eke Market days is too far. Papa, it's not too far. You know I need time to prepare myself very well. And also put things in order so as not to put you or our kinsmen to shame. Uh -huh. Yes, Papa. And is her, is her father aware oh, of yeah. this arrangement? Yes, Papa. His father is very much aware and he's ready. Uh -huh. Yes, Papa. What did he say? Um... I believe he can't wait to have us as in-laws, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, too. And that will go a long way in strengthening the relationship between our kingdoms. Yes, Papa, you are very right. <laughs> <laughs> My son. Papa. What's the meaning of this? Stay away from my man, Ujunwa. Who is your man? <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, so no need of asking. I don't know who you're talking about. How dare you try to walk out on me? Are you mad? Nika, what's your problem? What wrong have I done to you? Ujunwa, you have done everything wrong to me by going after my man, Nabife. I want you to stop seeing him. Never. <laughs> that means you're calling for war, and that war you should get. And does it look to you like Ujunwa is afraid of war? <laughs> Let me make it clear to you. If I do not have him, you will not have him, Ujunwa. <laughs> it is very glaring that you are a joker. I'm not joking with you. No. Okay. In that case, you have just drawn the battle line. <laughs> yes. I'm ready to go to war with you, Ujunwa. Bring it. Oh, 
But what is the problem with this lady? Why does she go around the community looking for trouble? Nietzsche, I hope I did not stress all of you about this unplanned meeting. Oh. Not, not at, at all, all, Your Majesty. Not at all. Yeah, I don't know. My very good friend, the King of Aziama, has extended an invitation to me to attend his Iriji festival. And I intend to attend with all of you. Oh, my man was a few. He's very good, Your Majesty. So, when is the festival taking place? Yes. By the next Eke Market Day. Oh, that would be enough time for us to prepare to attend. I know I can trust all of you. Now the question is, what shall you present to him as gifts on this special day? Uh, Your Majesty, I would suggest um, the gift of goods and fowl will be fine. And maybe some kegs of palm wine. As, as, as well as uh, some kegs of palm oil, Your Majesty. Very good. Very good gifts. Ichiyacheke, sit with that. All these items are made available by the next Ekemaket day. You don't look happy. What is it? Neka is at it again. What has she done again this time? She came to warn me to stay away from you. Warn you? How? I should be asking you that question. Nabufe, what do you have with Neka? What do you mean what do I have with Neka? You of all people know that I have nothing with Neka. You keep saying you have nothing with Neka. Then why does she keep claiming that you are a man? I don't know. How am I supposed to know? I don't know anything. You keep saying you don't know. But this time you will have to know. You need to know this time. Else, I will be forced to terminate the marriage plans. Uh, no, uh, no, my love. Come on. It has not gotten to that extent yet. It has. You and I know that Neka is a desperate maiden. And she will go to any length, just about any length, to get what she wants. And to get it accomplished. And that includes killing me. She will do nothing to you. <laughs> Look at me. See. Just forget about that crazy neck of a maiden and her stupid empty threat. No. No. Nabufe, please. This time, you will have to settle Neka. Please. Find out what she wants and settle her. I don't want to drag a man with a maiden. I, I don't have that strength. Please. It's okay. I've heard you. I will do as you said. Please do. I will. Now put some smile on that face. I'm not good to my car, people. Come on now. Let me know. Go beam. Greetings, Your Majesty. You must be the guard. The messenger from the king of Omu or Ganigwe. To what do I owe this visit? His Majesty, the king of my kingdom, has asked me to tell you that he has received your message to attend your New Year festival. And that he will be attending with all his chiefs. Oh, good. Good. Uh, please send my words to him and tell him that I will be so happy to host him and his chiefs during the New Year festival celebration. Your message will get to his ear on Yezi. Good. I send my regards to him. Thank you, Your Majesty. I beg to take my leave, Your Majesty. No, you cannot believe it so far. You have come face to face with the king of Eziyama Kingdom. And as you are leaving, something must have to leave with you today. Thank you, Your Majesty. See to that. But you are leaving. You will rise. Sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Whatever thing you think you're doing in Neka will not work. 
whether you like it or not, I must marry Ujumwa. I will not be alive to see you get married to anybody. You have continued getting away with a lot of things. But see this one, it will not work. Eh? Yes. Then be prepared to die. Be prepared to die in Neka because I must marry her. You will not take away my virginity and get married to any other maiden. That won't happen. Is it by force to marry you? Yes. It became a thing of force the moment you took away my virginity. I will not marry you. And you know it. I mean, who is that man that wants to marry a troublemaker like you? Oh, I'm not a troublemaker because I'm telling you the truth. Be prepared not to get married to any other maiden because I will make it work. That sounds to me like a threat in Neka. You can call it anything you want. But the bottom line is that I will not be alive to see you get married to any maiden. Ne ne Neka, Neka. I understand how hot you feel. But you know this is not my fault. Now be fair. You did not fight for me. That is why we are where we are today. How, how do you mean? If you had defended me in presence of your parents, they would have accepted our relationship. But because you have seen someone else and you already see me as a troublemaker, as you just confirmed, you joined them to paint me black and blue. Neka. Don't even put that blame on me. Don't. Of course I'll put the blame on you. You did not fight for me. You know if it was me, I would have fought for you. But this is the time for me to correct all the whole wrong things you have done. Then maybe it's time you start answering the questions. Everything that has been said about you, Neka, is any of them wrong? You don't expect me to answer the question. Well, as a way forward, my dear, you should start answering. I will not answer the question, okay? Of our land. Greetings. Greetings. What brings you to the abode of the king? I have a message for the king. The king is sleeping and cannot attend to anyone right now. Maybe you drop the message with us when he wakes, we relate it to him. Well, the message I have is for the king's ears only. Did you say king's ear alone? Yes. Then you have to wait or you go and come back later. I think I prefer to wait. Okay, then. Wait for it. Wait by that corner. Thank you. Uh -huh. Greetings, Nani. Ah, uh, greetings. <clears throat> How are you? I'm fine, Nani. It seems like you are about leaving. Yes, I'm uh -huh. going out. Then I met you at a very good time. Uh -huh. mm. The way you just sounded, it seems there's something you want to discuss with me. Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> there's something very, very important that I have to discuss with you, Nani. Then talk, because I'm already running late. It's about your son, Nabuife. My son, Nabuife. Mm. Is everything all right? Nani, mm. everything is not all right, though. The maiden is about to get married to. <laughs> Nani. I fear that marriage is going to consume your son's life. And eventually, she will jump to another man. 
Why would you say such a thing about an innocent maiden? I don't have anything against her. I'm only very concerned because, Nani, what I'm saying is the truth. Evil and harlotry runs in her lineage. If I had known this is what you are coming here to vomit, I wouldn't have listened to you in the first place. Nani, you have to take what I'm telling you very serious. You have to do everything possible to make sure your son does not marry that maiden, Nani. I have not seen you before. Nani, you don't have to have seen me before to believe what I'm telling you. Nani, what I'm saying is the truth. Who is your father? Your Majesty, someone is here to see you. Man or woman? Man, Your Majesty. Bring him in. Yes, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, young man. May I speak with you alone, Your Majesty? Why? That is how the gods want it, Your Majesty. And what's your name? Your Majesty, my name is Okolondu, son of Anomodulo, the great hunter of Umoji. Wow. <laughs> son of a great man indeed. Yes, Your Majesty. Great hunter of our land. His son should be given attention. Thank you, Your Majesty. Leave us. So what is it? If I may, Your Majesty. I found this. I found this on the boundary between our land and Umoganibe. But our land precisely. My fellow elders, the great king of the land, this stone is useless to us. We don't have any need for it. Ishii and Noshiri, you are not going to be in a haste to draw that conclusion. Uh, but your majesty, that is exactly what it is. Well, I am not going to accept what uh, Ishii and Noshiri is presenting here until I have listened to Onyendozi say something about the precious stones discovered in our land. Yes, I agree with the king. Let's not be in a haste to throw this stone away. Uh, yes. We will not be in a haste to throw the stone away. But when will Onyendozi come to see the stone in question? Well, Onyendozi is supposed to be part of this meeting. I told him about this meeting and uh, he assured me he will be coming. But then again, he sent words across to me that uh, he's attending to his pregnant wife. That's why he's not here. Does that mean now that there's no need to wait for him any further? Well, uh, to be very sincere, that may be the truth. Because there is no way men in council will sit down here waiting for a man who is attending to a pregnant woman. We all understand what that means. Yeah, right. So I am going to hold a private meeting with him when he comes. And whatsoever we discuss, I will find a way to relate to the men in council. Yeah, so no problem, problem. no problem, your majesty. You have said it all. We are with you. <laughs> but again, contrary to what Ishii and Noshiri was saying when we started, Something in me tells me that the stone as discovered in our land here is going to be very important to us as a people. Yes, your majesty. I have the same feeling. And that is the more reason why we have to wait for Onyendozi to come and see it. Yeah, Oboda. Yeah. Must you always agree with the king? Oh, oh. No, must you always be at the supporting team? Don't you have a word of your own as as an echi? Imu roku akai. Nze na amaro ku su na nwani ekutego no nyane anabo. Mana okuko na amaro. Shut up! Shut up! That is an insult and I will not take it from you. Honestly, it is not an insult. I won't insult you. 
But I am only establishing a fact. Well, it's, it's enough. It's enough. You know, this is enough. Please. Your Majesty. Tell him to always choose his words anytime he, he, he wants to speak to me. My name is Roku. Is enough? We are sorry. We are very sorry, Your Majesty. You can, only, you can already see the man is vibrating and you are still staying tense. Please, stop. It's okay. My name is I, I, it's, we, are, we are sorry. We are sorry, Your Majesty. So, what are you saying when you handed over the stone to him? Nothing. What do you mean by nothing? Yes, he didn't say anything. He just identified the two stones as precious stones. You mean he did not say anything about rewarding you when you handed over the stones to him? No, he collected it from me and asked me to leave. You see? You see why I want you over giving that stones to your, to, to your king? If it were to be my own king, there's no way he will not reward you handsomely for handing those stones to him. Oh. Okay, Chief, please. Before we go about with all this reward of a thing, do you even think that those precious stones are of any use to him? They are of a great use to him. That is why he collected them from you. <sighs> um, where did you say you, you saw the stones? Okay, um, I was doing my normal routine for the day, digging up stones. When I stumbled on that, strange things. So I went to make inquiry from the king and he identified it as precious stones. Where did you see them? Where? At the boundary between our two kingdoms. Your own land or our own land? My own land. Hmm. Close to yours. And why did you ask? Oh, nothing. I, I just want to know. That's one thing I just wanted to know. That's, that's just it. So. How are you staying? Not fine, Joe. Not fine. That, that your king is not being fair. Why would he, why would he not talk about the reward? The reward, the reward is something is very important. Can you forget about my king now? How can he not reward you? This way. I told you I cannot have anything to do with you. I am married. What do you want? I am not here because of what we once shared. I know you are married and I respect that. So why are you here? I have information for you. I'm listening. What do I stand to gain? It depends what information you have. Precious stones have been found. On our land? No. A land close to ours. Where in particular? Not until you tell me what I stand to gain. What's your price? I have given you the opportunity to make me an offer. So don't ask me. That is what I want it to be. So tell me what you want, and 
I will oblige you this time around only if the information you provide is correct. Alright. I want you back in my life. You cannot be serious. That is impossible. That is my demand. That is final. If you are ready to know where the precious stones have been found, you have to do it. Come back to me and I will tell you. It might interest you to know that people of Ezema already know about the precious name. Excuse me. been behaving strange lately. Is there anything you want to share with me? Mother, I remember your warning that I shouldn't scare you with the things I see. Is that the way of saying that you are seeing things? Promise me. Promise me that you will not dismiss it as one of those things. You've not said anything yet. I see war coming. What? And a lot of people would die. May the ghost forbid! I saw it. It was real. Very real. I was crying in my dream until I woke up. And I continued crying. Is your father aware of it? Not yet. Then you have to tell him. Where is he? At the throne room with the elders. That means I have to wait until the elders are gone. Greetings. Greetings, how are you? I'm fine, Ichi. Yeah. I was actually coming to your house. Yes, Ichi. Hope all is well. Yes, Ichi, all is well. Just that um, I wanted to discuss something with you. Okay. If the conversation will not take time, then we can as well have it here because my coming back will be later in the evening. Oh, Ichi, we can actually have it here because it's a matter that needs urgent attention. What could that be? What are the necessary informations I need to have about the maiden I want to marry? <laughs> no, the information is simple. Firstly, you have to know the kind of family you're getting married from. Then, you need to know the kind of woman her mother is. Yes. <laughs> Is there any kind of life lived by the mother of this maiden that is capable of stopping that maiden from getting married? No, be fair. A woman who runs after men from her husband's house is not worthy to be called a wife. It is believed that this same woman will transfer such character to her daughters. No, be fair. I hope you're getting married soon. Uh, yes, Ichi. That's why I was asking you those questions. I will advise you check on these things I told you now before settling down for any medal. I will, Ichi. As well. Thank you for your time. My regards to your family. As well. Say hi to your father. Oh. I will. This is precious stone and it's going to be valuable to us. How do you mean? I mean this is precious stone and um, 
if we can get buyers, uh, this is going to fetch us a lot of money. Is that a way of telling me that our kingdom is about to develop? Exactly. Exactly. Because if we sell, we are going to get a lot of money to develop our kingdom. Then the first thing I want to ask is, how are we going to get the buyers? Um, I heard that uh, some white men are going from one community to another, buying precious stones, elephant tusks, palm oil, and some other valuables. Now, our problem is how to get words across to them, to rush down to Iziama. Once they come, we present the precious stone to them, and then we take it up from there. Oh, you know, see, getting them to rush down to Iziama may not be the problem. Uh, the problem is, are you sure they are going to like what we have? Uh, sorry, Your Highness. I'm assuring you that they must like it. Because this is precious to them. And I'm very, very sure that it's going to be precious to them. Now, let me tell you one thing. During the short period I was at Oka, learning blacksmith, I learned a lot about precious stone. The white men, they don't joke with it because it is connected to their method of measuring real wealth. You see, this is why I insisted that I must hear from you concerning this precious stone. Yeah, because you are that one man of our kingdom who knows practically everything about everything. <laughs> uh, Onyeze, this is a kind of exaggeration that I know uh, a lot about uh, practically everything. Uh, you know, this smacks of uh, omniscient. I'm not omniscient. Only the gods are omniscient. However, I will agree with you that uh, I know enough of anything I want to know, if I may put it that way. Well, Onyendozi, it is your right to maintain your peaceful nature. You know, that is the reason the gods of Eziama have bestowed on you the wand of peace. You are that one man of this kingdom who is credible and the only resource person we have in Eziama. And that is the reason we have not just made you the peace ambassador of this kingdom. But even the men and women of this kingdom, they do not ever joke with your advice. In fact, your advice is that quality advice that nobody can take for granted. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Convey my gratitude to the rest of the citizenry of the Kingdom of Asiama. Um, I must advise immediately that we mobilize the youths to that very particular spot of land where we, they got this to get more. Because the more in quantity, the more money we get for our development. I mean, let me just give you this assurance that, motive, you know, moving the young men to do what is just instructed is not going to be a problem. Thank you. Uh, we are going to see to that immediately. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And what did she come to do here? Who? Ogechi. She brought some business. I see. And what kind of business is that? Look, woman, you do not 
expect me to answer that question. When did you start doing businesses with Ogechi? Look, a businessman can start business with whomever and whenever. My business is none of your business. I see. So they have started seeing each other secretly again. Kim, what's the problem? You look so worried. What's wrong with you? Please, you can talk to me. What's bothering you? Obium. Yes, my love. You know I love you, right? And you know I love you too. But that's not why you're wearing a long face, is it? Obi, I want to ask you a question. And please, be honest with me. I promise. Ask me anything. Obi, tell me about your family. Okay. My mother is late, which you already know. My father is very much alive. My father is a palm wine tapper. And he's a very good man. Everyone in Asiama Kingdom knows about him. You can go and make your findings. I know about your father. Okay. But I'm not talking about your father, Obi. Tell me about your mother. I mean, you hardly talk about your mother. I don't want to talk about her. Why? Don't ask me why. I don't want to talk about her. Obi, we are going to be married. We should know our family history, which emanated from our parents. Who have you been talking to? What do you mean, who have I been talking to? You know what, Nabwefe? I don't have time to quarrel with you. Oh, Obin, please wait. Obin. a simpler way to solve this problem. Let me take you on as my second wife. No. Okay, why are you being so difficult? What is it? I cannot share you with anyone. See, you can call it whatever you want to call it. But I want my man. Make a decision and then we're good to go. 
decision do you want me to make? How can I kill my wife? For no reason. It doesn't make sense. Well, if this is what you plan to say to me, then why do you bring me out here? Why? Listen. Take the offer. I will even give you a huge amount of money once the precious stone business begins. No. I am not interested in your money. I want my man or to myself. That's it. Who's your man? He is the one standing before me. He is the only one hearing me right now. He has been my man. All I want is to have him all to myself. If you want the precious stone, go ahead, kick her out, and we'll go. Okay, I accept. I accept. Show me the land of the precious stones. No. I don't operate that way. If you really want the precious stone, kick her out of the palace and I will show you the land where the precious stones are found. Obim, wait. Leave me alone. Obim, did I do wrong by demanding to know the kind of mother you once had? I never said so, because I knew you were making inquiries. Then why are you this angry? Not you. <sighs> that woman lost the title of a mother because of the kind of life she lived. She was, she was into so many things and I'm not proud. We will just slow down, okay? I just want you to break it down for me. I mean, what kind of life did she live? Is this something I should know? It is something personal and should not be brought to public. Now you just sounded as if I'm a stranger to you. Ujuma, we are planning to be married. And we shouldn't be keeping things from one another. Please do not misunderstand me. But that is it. Obi, I love you. Would my love you with my life and I will always stand by you, no matter what. That woman lived a very bad life. What kind of life did she live? She lived a life not worthy of emulation. She was into so many things. She was into men. Different kind of men. She went as far as having children for all of them. What? Greetings, Father. Nice. Excuse us. My jewel of endless value. How are you today? Very well, Father. And you? I'm good. 
You were very busy yesterday. Definitely, I was very busy yesterday. Father, I had a dream I wanted to share with you, but I couldn't meet up with you because of your very busy schedule. Well, as you can see, I am very much free now. I was busy yesterday, like I said, but I can hear your dream now. What, what was it all about? I saw war coming. War? Yes, Father. A lot of lives were lost and a lot of houses in this kingdom were burned. Well, it could just be a dream. Father, this is not just a dream. You know my dreams come true. Please, let's do everything possible to avoid this war. Okay. Who were we fighting against? Initially, it wasn't very clear, but later it was discovered that we were fighting with the people of Umuaganigwe. Oh. Now I confirm it's actually a dream that shouldn't give you any concern. It's something maybe as a result of um, Eba. And I'm going to suggest you meet Ukadike herbalist to give you something very potent that can fight this Eba. Because we cannot be going into war with the people of Omogadi, where it is not possible. Let me even surprise you. Our New Year Festival that is coming, the king of Omoganigwe himself will be in attendance here in this palace. Um, I don't know how to say this, Father, but please, if it is possible, stop the king from coming. Why? Because this war I talk about may start from there. Can you perish that thought already? Stop thinking towards that direction. I don't know how many people you may have shared this your dream with, but let me be the very last person. Don't discuss this with any other person, because it is not possible. The people of Umoganigwe are like our brothers and our sisters. We have been living together for decades. So I wanted to perish that thought. See what you had as a dream and let it remain a dream. So what exactly did he do? He's seen another woman, your majesty. That's not possible. He swore before our gods to love and cherish you all the days of his life. Your majesty, many men do not keep this marital odds. He is seeing another woman and is really killing me from inside. You sound so sure. Do you know the maiden is going after? Her name is Ogechi. Ogechi. The one I know or is there a different one? The same Ogechi that you know, Your Majesty. They are seeing each other and it's really affecting our relationship. Don't worry about it, I'll talk to my son. Thank you, Your Majesty. Just remain calm. I'll talk to him. Thank you. Greetings, Evogards. Hold it right there. Why are you here? I am here for the king. Why are you looking for him? Well, I have something personal to discuss with the king. Something personal to discuss with the king? Ask who? I don't understand. The question he asked you is not confusing. Why are you acting as if you are confused? That's because I told you that I have something personal to discuss with the king. I don't know why you two are finding it difficult to understand that. Well, if you must know, the king has instructed that you should not be seen anywhere around this palace. No, that can be true. The king cannot make such orders. 
That means you are calling us liars. I did not call you liars. I guess you have overstayed your welcome and I ask that you leave. When did you guards start talking like this? He said leave now. The king will not be happy when he discovers that you treated me like this. Leave! Or do you want us to force you leave? Now leave. Now. Now! You have something personal to discuss with the king. Why are you still here? I am done with you, woman. How else can I say it? Pack your things and leave. <laughs> I knew it would come to this. I knew it. But before I go, can I can I ask you a question? Don't have time for your questions. That's fine. I just want you to tell me what I have done wrong before I leave. I need you to tell me what did I do wrong. You have not given me a child. That is what you have been doing wrong. Did you get me pregnant and I refuse to give you a child? I refuse to carry your child? This is why I hate you. Full of excuses. You must find excuse in everything. Pack and get out. Listen, my love, listen, I am not making excuses. I just told you my truth. That's it. I don't have time for this argument, okay? Leave. You know, I... I never wanted you to regret anything. You see this? You will regret it. It's my regret to live with. May the gods judge you. I am prepared. Mm -hmm. 